favorite superhero? My favorite superhero is the Rocketeer. I think Iron Man's really cool. I like Black Panther. Captain America. My superhero is Wonder Woman. Spider-Man. Batgirl. My superhero is Mrs. Incredible, Elastic Girl. My favorite superhero is Superman. Superman. Superhero. My superhero is Flash. Those are all fantastic choices. Each of those heroes have different superpowers. Some can fly, they've got laser eyes, super speed. But the one thing they have in common is that they rescue people who need to be rescued. They save the day. But the question is, if I need rescuing, will any of those superheroes really save me? Can they rescue me? No, they won't. They can't. They are not real. But today I want to tell you about someone who is real and wants to rescue all of us. His name is God. And to help us understand this better, we're going to take a look at a verse in the Bible which I think you all know very well. It's John 3 verse 16. And it explains why we need to be rescued and who the real rescuer is. Here it goes. For God so loved the world. This is the reason for the rescue plan. God's everlasting love for you and me. He wants us to know him and to be his friends. But there's a big problem. We all like to be in charge of our own lives, don't we? It's easier to do what I want instead of what God wants. And this is called sin. Sin stops us from being God's friend. The final result of sin is death. So you can see why we are in trouble and need to be rescued. But the verse continues. That he gave his one and only son. God sent Jesus to be our rescuer, to save us from the problem of sin. Although he had never done anything wrong, Jesus was nailed to a cross and left to die. As Jesus died, all the sins of the world, that's all the wrong things people do, were put onto Jesus. He took all of our sins onto himself. He took the punishment we deserve. He died in our place so that we could be forgiven. The verse doesn't end there. It goes on. So that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. When Jesus died, he dealt with the problem of sin. He fixed it. That means there is nothing to separate us from God anymore. That's really great news for you and me. We can now be friends with him. Jesus died on the cross as our rescuer, but he didn't stay dead. Three days later, God brought him back to life. Jesus is alive today, ruling as our kin. We need to accept Jesus as our savior and live with him as the kin of our lives. That's the only way to be right with God. So... Boys and girls, the question is, is Jesus your rescuer? Have you said sorry to Jesus for all the wrong things you say, do, and think? If you're not sure and would like to know more about Jesus, the real rescuer, ask your mom or dad to send me an email to the address on this screen. I would love to help you. Spider-Man, Supergirl, and The Flash are all great. But remember, they are not real. Let the real rescuer save you. Make Jesus kin of your life today. I've asked Noah Urquhart, one of our Sunday school children, to close in prayer for us. Let's pray. Dear God, I am so sorry I do not treat you as king. I do things my way and not your way. I am so grateful that you sent Jesus as the rescuer. He took the punishment for my sins when he died on the cross. Thank you that Jesus did not stay dead, but is alive today. Help me live with Jesus as King. Amen.